Okay, Cigar Lab, Indiana, PA. There's the real Cigar Lab. That's Joy. But today, it's Tuesday. We're going to go with a Tuesday tip. We're going to talk about cigar bands. And by that, I mean the uh, little parts wrapped around the cigar. I found some, maybe some cigars you won't be familiar with. This is a Wyatt Earp. From the Smoke Signals, that's in um, Tombstone, Arizona. I had a little cigar shop, and I picked up some of those cigars. They're house cigars. And take a look at that band. Mm -hmm. you, another one you might not have seen before is the uh, Deadwood Cigar, the uh, Sweet Jane. And then maybe a more mainline cigar that you have seen before is the under crown, you see it actually still it has a top band as well as the band near the foot. All right, the origin of a cigar band has really three theories. One dates back to the Tsar of Russia, Catherine the Great, and uh, she was a cigar smoker. And she had her cigars wrapped in silk so as to not get cigar or tobacco stains on her hands. That's one theory. Another theory is uh, when tobacco became popular in Europe, and especially in England, the gentlemen of that time wore white gloves, and they found that the tobacco was staining their white gloves. So there was a paper band put on a cigar, and the gentlemen would uh, hold the cigar on the band and keep the tobacco stains from getting on their, their white gloves. And then moving on, there's a third theory uh, that was attributed to Gustavo Bach. He was a Dutch tobacco manufacturer. And uh, he wanted to make sure that uh, no one was really trying to knock off his cigars. And when he put his band, it was almost like his signature on the cigars. So everyone knew that they could, uh, it was sort of a quality control, that they knew a cigar coming out of his factories and manufactured by him was sort of his seal of approval, and everyone knew that what they were getting. So probably a combination of all of those things are true. Bands are on there maybe to keep the fingers away from the tobacco. Bands are also there to identify the cigar and the cigar manufacturer. So there you have it. There's some information about cigar bands on this Tuesday tip. There's, this is also going to be attached to a part of our blog. I hope you take, take a look at that, check it out, and let us know what type of uh, cigar bands. Some of them get pretty ornate. If you do decide to take the cigar band off the cigar, that's the next thing we're gonna talk about. You don't wanna do that uh, before you smoke or even at the beginning of the smoke. You wanna let the uh, tobacco warm up because this cigar band is sort of attached with pectin. And if you take it off without loosening it up, you may damage the wrapper of the cigar. You don't wanna do that. So eventually if you, the tobacco um, gets heated up, it'll loosen up, it'll come right off. There's some uh, places where it's uh, considered poor etiquette to leave the cigar band on because you're just showing off of what uh, type of cigar you're smoking but I think it's a matter of personal preference. And then also if it's interfering with your tobacco or cigar smoking experience, you need to take it off. Of course, the, the bands where that uh, you have them at the top, you can't smoke that with that on. And uh, but sometimes what I'll do is I'll just keep the cigar band on until we get the ash close enough to it. The cigar is heating up and it just pops right off. So there you go. The uh, Cigar Lab is, is live Tuesday on our Tuesday tip. And we're going to give you some information about cigar bands. And I'm going to sign off. But before I do that, I'm going to let uh, Joy. The Real Cigar Lab sign off as well. We'll talk to you soon on the Cigar Lab.